this is just gonna be a really quick video. I just have a question to ask. Um, I don't know how the looks like it's not really clear on here. Um, do you guys judge a book by its cover? How many of you do? I mean, I I ask that because a lot of people watch my videos, and depending on if it's like a rant videos, they tend to get a misconception of who you know a dwarf is. So I'm just wanting to know if you like in your everyday life or what you guys do in videos. Maybe you do videos and then you go to work and maybe some of your co-workers may see your videos. Do you seem, does it seem like they have like a problem with like some of the things that you say? This is America people and we can definitely voice our opinion. We have freedom of speech and with me, I'm definitely going to speak my mind. You know, yes, I have a salon. Yes, I do hair. Yes, I respect my clients as well as I, you know, demand respect. But I'm definitely going to speak my mind. You know, I'm going to give you 100% of the best work that I can possibly give you. You know, the best hair care, the best um, hair knowledge. But I'm definitely going to speak against what I don't like and the things that I, you know, see that I don't like. But does that, does that make me a bad person because of the fact that I speak my mind? How do you guys feel about that? I mean, does it make you a bad person, you know, because you too may tend to speak your mind? With that being said, I just want everyone to know that, yes, I speak my mind because I have to do that. If I, if I didn't speak my mind, I wouldn't be me. I would be someone else. Yes, I'm from New York, but I do live in the South. But because of the fact that I live in the South, that does not mean that I'm supposed to change who I am as an individual. Um, yes, us, us Northerners, we are very outspoken. I know I'm outspoken, but with me being outspoken, that makes me who I am. That makes me, you know, have the business savvy mind that I have. That makes me, you know, be the go-getter person that I am. That, no, I decided I didn't want to work for anyone else. So I put the work in. I did what I had to do. And now, you know, I own my own business. So am I going to, you know, shut up or be quiet or or take a back seat to someone or anything just because, you know, you may not like the way that I talk? No. Nothing's going to change with me. You know, with with me, as far as how I do hair, it is what it is. I mean, you're going to get, like I said, 100% of me because I do the research. I put in the work. You understand what I mean? So, it's like, basically, what I'm what I'm trying to say is, what you see is what you get with me. So, you may not like the way I look. You may not like the way that I talk. You may not even like the way that I act. But at the end of the day, as long as you're getting excellent, superb hair care, it really shouldn't matter. Okay? This is a Dwoa. I just uh, basically told you how I felt and how I'm going to continue to be. You know, everyone has their opinion and their right to go to whomever they please. But... Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't always look on the outside, you know, look at how I may look or look at how I may dress or look out and look at how I may speak and let that determine, you know, whether or not you're going to either come to me or, you know, watch my videos or even go to my website to just check me out. Because at the end of the day, would you rather an outspoken person that's going to get the job done or would you rather somebody that's going to sit back quiet, you know, and that's that's going to take your hair out? The choice is up to you. I hope you make the right decision. Bye. Hi, subbies, and hopefully my new subscribers. I want to thank you guys for supporting me and watching my videos. As you can see, I try to bring something different each time that I record a video. So just keep watching them. And for those that this is your first time, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And stay tuned.